Alright guys, today we're going to be playing some goblin caves and we're going to be running fresh rogue. We got double jump, lockpicking mastery, stealth ambush, rupture, and hide. Everything else is just base kit and we're going to be going into goblin caves and I'm going to show you all how I make some good gold and then hopefully in one or two games we can go hop into a high roller and actually start getting some good loot as well. Alright, so let's queue up. Alright, so we spawned in, we used our invis right off the bat. A chest with absolutely nothing in it. All right, so we got a really bad spawn, but we did get a shadow mask out of it with plus two, so I will accept it. Usually I don't stay down here, but since it's a normal, I'm going to stay down here. Probably going to get jumped on, so make sure that we're using the spike traps to kill some of these goblins. It just makes it miles easier. I'm just hiding real quick because I hear I, there's somebody here. I don't know where they're at, though. Okay, never mind. Okay, I know they're at. They're on top. They're on top. Oh my god. How the f did I hit the lantern, dude? Oh, it's a cleric. Cleric's going in to kill this ranger. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> You might have judgment, so you got to be careful there. Easy kill. I see him up there. I want to see if he's going to try and drop on me. 15 armor for rock, dude. Let's see if he sees me. I know he's got full health too, so. Beep. <laughs> Pull that book out. Pull your book out. I dare you. There we go. Nice heal. Nice heal. That's a nice heal you got, dude. Nice heals, bro. <laughs> Those are some sick heals, dude. All right. <laughs> Ooh, he's got blue light foot boots. Do not mind if I do. All right, let's try and loot this because it is in the side of the zone. So just on the side of the zone. We already killed the mage. We need to get rid of this starting dagger though. But it is not good. Perfect. Let's loot this real quick and then hop back to the top. We're going to hop back to the top. Another hound skull, nothing else. Let's loot these because we need some jewels really bad. We don't really have much. All right, let's get out of here. Wow, we got a portal down here, dude. Since this is the first run, I'm actually just going to take our first portal whenever we have a decent amount of loot like this. So let's go ahead and just take it. We got, let's see, like... 80 gold we got eight candy corn you can sell the candy corn if you want which and that'll give you i think was it 10 per candy corn or something so that's also nice now we need to go ahead and buy a weapon all right so we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves a rapier here for 50 gold let's see if we can get ourselves some strength gloves perfect we're gonna buy some more heals now that we actually have the gold to buy some heals let's go hop into the next one all right, so we spawned in the tombs. This is actually not a bad spawn at all. Especially now that we have some damage output. At least decent. There we go. Perfect. Easy kills. We want to loot the dragonflies. Sometimes they have jewelry. Sometimes there's candy corn on the, on the goblins. We actually got the zone. So we don't have to go super fast. But we do want to try and clear out our tile as much as possible. Especially this tile because... People will try and come in here late now that the zone is here. Easy. Nothing. Let's go ahead and loot the rest of the goblins and everything that is around very quickly. Death Beetle gave us a ring of quickness with three fizz power on it. Not bad. We will take those. We will take those. There's a player here. Right 
Right there. Looks like a fresh cleric. Woo! Let's make sure we back up here. I didn't bring any extra throwing knives. Don't don't let him heal. Do not let him heal. Wow, he's fast with that. Just don't let him heal. Woo! Give me come on, baby. Okay, perfect. Here we go. Boom. Yep, there we go. That's good damage. That's gonna hurt. If I had any throwables, this would be definitely a different fight. Boom, dead. Let's go, baby. Rapier right there won us that fight. That's why I wanted to take that because I saw he was a baby cleric. He actually had a lock pick, dude. That's insane. I probably could have ran away and healed, but I wanted to make sure he was not able to get a heal off. I did not mean to double drink that potion. Oh my god. Oh, we got a replacement one. Bet. I want to go down here and loot this really good chest. That will be a gold chest. Yes, sir. Ooh, those are pretty nice boots. There's so much loot down here that you could stay down here all day, bro. It's really weird. Easy loot. Let's go ahead and get this. Blue spell book there. I hear a player. Let's go get out of here then. We can loot this in a second, but we don't want to be down here when there's a player in here. Get this lever. Now I'm going to sound whore a little bit because I don't know where this guy is. Also not at full health. Let me use this bandage and get the full. He's in this room. Let's see if I can go kill this guy. Because eventually he's going to try and push into my room. And that is not what we want. Oh. He's not fully in there yet. Try and kill him off. Or right there too. He was just down there breaking the vases, dude. And he hasn't moved since. I don't know what he's doing. Kind of makes you just want to go loot because we got a nice stone here. Yeah, I think I am going to go loot. So much loot down here. Regal Gambison. All of these corpses always have loot on them. Dude, I have found purple spell books and stuff on these corpses. It's actually insane. The fact that we got the zone to ourselves is super, super nice. Some ale there. Weapon damage rogue cal. I'm still not going to take it. Okay, here a player. I'm supposed to get out of here. I hear them in this room. Oh, he's got a portal open. So I can seal it. Yeah, you're right. I know. I didn't expect I didn't know it was a barb. He's he's so lucky. That means we have more time to loot. Sounds good to me. That was probably one of the last guys. Let's see what he left. Cause he heard me, yeah. I know he left some stuff. Oh my goodness, dude. He was just breaking everything. Not grabbing, dude. I'm going to drink this ale because it'll give us some nice strength. We're going to kill this as well. Mummies love giving meds. That's exactly what I mean. We'll get one more portal, so I'm not too worried about it. There's also the static exit here, which we can go check. Static exit is represented by the stairs on the map, and it opens rather late into the game. No one's taking it, so we'll just take this. Hopefully that I get them all. I usually always end up missing a couple. There we go. Actually, some really good gold right there. All right. End up selling this really nice book here super fast for 50 Gs, even though it's definitely worth more. The occultist boots were not selling, so I'm just going to quick sell them. I'm going to remember to buy throwables this time so that we don't get into a situation like last time where we can't push the guy. <laughs> Let's hop back in. Ooh, we just got a good spawn. Good thing we played one more. We ended up spawning right in the spider location, one of our favorite spawns. And it looks like we also got the circle as well. That is very nice. So much loose loot here and whenever you get the circle in this location dude you'll basically always get one of the first portals too it's really really weird easy kills on those things and we're just gonna keep circling all the way around the spiders here will actually trigger that plate 
which is kind of annoying. So you always want to come over here and break this pot first before things get nasty. A blue diamond is kind of insane. That blue diamond is actually a really good find. You can also get a skelly champion, which we're definitely going to try and spawn. This is why this is one of the better spawns. And there's also a mage, which is right here at this plate. But you definitely want to kill spider mommy first right here. Ooh, gotta watch out for that attack. That's why I usually always just backpedal. Usually whenever you have good damage though, you'll kill them pretty quickly. Additional fizz. I'm actually gonna take that over my regular strengths. Top in here, get all these, all the loose loot. So much loose loot, dude. Let's go ahead and spawn the fire mage. I'm gonna show you an easy way to get rid of this fire mage. So when he drops, he'll immediately aggro on you if you're close enough. Oh, another blue book. And you can just get him right there on the pillar. And he'll end up killing himself every time. And then you can just go in and swing. Easy peasy. Look at that. Skelly champion, on the other hand, we're just going to stand on top of the hell shrine and cheese him. Which is pretty self-explanatory. But skelly champion obviously has the chance to spawn keys. So we're always killing the skelly champion if we have an opportunity. And we're going to always try and kill him as quick as possible. Oh my god. <laughs> he made no noise. <laughs> Easy kill. Didn't take us too long. He had two lockpicks on him and actual trash for everything else. And now, guess what? Because we're in spider room, we just keep looting. There's still so much more to loot. And we just got a surgy kit. Oh my goodness, man. This room is so good, dude. We do have to be careful, though. There is one other geared rogue that we saw in the lobby. Could be rather dangerous. I'm actually going to drop that campfire. I don't really need that right now. Here a player. Oh, it's a... No, oh, it's a chest. I actually think he just got a portal, though, so... Boop. Have fun with your crossbow, dog. <laughs> Have fun with your crossbow. He's really slow. He is full armored, so he probably took no damage from that, but he's very, very slow. We do have a portal here, though. And we're basically full inventory. If we're smart, we should leave. And I would probably advise you guys to leave. So I guess I should follow my own advice and let's dip. And there's a very geared rogue there that we're not going to be able to kill. So <laughs> we got 150 in trinkets and some loose gold. 162 actually. Okay. We also got some silver coins. So yeah, we actually got some decent gold out of that. All right. We're selling these nice rawhide gloves that we got for 50 gold. We actually have 30 candy corn, so we have enough for a Gamba. I honestly think the Marauder could be a pretty decent idea because you have the chance to hit it big if you get really good rolls on this. So I think we're going to go for this. Here we go. Bruh. It's not what we want. I can't lie. I couldn't sell this thing for 100 gold, so I'm literally just wearing it into the raid. Getting these plus one all attribute leather gloves here, which will help us with uh, our Agi. We're getting it for 100 gold. All right, guys, so we got these blue two agi loose trousers for 50 gold. So we're obviously going to take those. So guys, as of right now, we pretty much went for an agi stack instead of strength, considering I don't have that much of a kit right now. So we're at 41 agi and our move speed is 323. That's actually insane. So let's hop in. Well, it looks like we're not doing a high roller in this one. We're definitely going to be doing a high roller in the next video, though. I just keep forgetting to go on a high roller. But this is just a good way to get geared up whenever you guys play Goblin Cave. So geared cleric, I would love to try and kill that cleric. That'd be great. The centipede spawn. Dude, our movement speed right now, guys, is actually insane. I hate that move so much, dude. Let's move it over here so we don't have to step in the pee. And we got two necks, one will, some knowledge. I'll wear that one because it's got some armor rating and, and agi on it. Makes us even quicker. What's our move speed at? 311 with our rapier out. That's actually pretty insane. We're getting lanterns like crazy. I'm actually just going to drop my short sword because I'm not going to use it. We don't want that on there because it's going to stop us from going invis. Candy corn, yet another potion. You know, we always take those. Let's head to this room, which normally is pretty hot because people can't spawn above us. Let's kill some of these. Yeah. 
Physical power light foot boots. Nothing else too crazy. Ooh, a green throwing knife. Definitely take more throwing knives. Our movement speed right now is going insane. Bronze ornate. Not really good, but it does have two magic healing. We might be able to sell that pretty easily to a warlock. So I don't really want to go to mid. So let's go back to where the way that we have cleared and head through this way instead. I right, hear some players in this direction. This because this is mid map. It might be the cleric trying to fight somebody. Wait, what? Someone fighting this. Oh, it's a rogue fighting the skelly champion. Let's wait till he kills him and then I'm gonna try and hop down on him, to be honest. There we go. Hello, friend. <laughs> Sorry about that, my guy. I gotta see if there's a key on that, on the skelly champ, bro. No, there wasn't. I'm sorry. Dude, where's that cleric, man? Where's the cleric? I have a feeling he's left already. And no one's looted these chests up here, so I'll take the time to do so. Let's turn this light out. Just lure these guys over here one at a time. Sometimes the ranger will pull, sometimes he won't. I don't know why. I don't know why the goblin archer sometimes will pull, sometimes he won't. Oh my god, he didn't die. And four swings like usual. That could have been bad. Candy corn. We always taking candy. Oh, there, there was a portal right there. I have a feeling that cleric is actually gone, dude. I guess everybody's gone and we're like the last person. Kind of lame. So I kind of want to kill more people. I also wanted to get more loot because we don't have too much of that. There's actually that room over there that has really good loot in it. Let's try and get that quick. Okay, he literally hit me around the corner, which is normal, but that one was like very around the corner. All you have to do is just get him to run over the traps or get him to do his buff thing. And then he's a free kill. Just make sure you kill this one, even though he's like impossible to see. Hey, at least they gave us a health pot, okay? That's all that matters. Now we got to clear some space. So we can actually hold some of this. Okay, well, I don't want to hold any more of that stuff. It's also the last circle, so let's just open this and get out. I'm definitely going to greed that chest right there, too. You already know I am. You already know I am. Boom. Take the lantern. Let's get out. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much how you play Goblin Caves, especially as Rogue. Rogue can make a lot of money playing Goblin Caves. And what I'm going to do is in the next video, we're going to continue this and I'm going to go hop into some high roller and see what we can do.